I am Ravi, Ravi Handa. I am the founder of the website handakafanda.com and in this particular series of videos, we will be talking about the complete CAT syllabus. In the earlier videos, you would have seen that we have talked about the sectional breakup, we have talked about what quant consists of, what verbal consists of and we have also discussed topic wise details on number system, algebra and arithmetic. Today, however, we are going to talk about geometry. Now, please understand that geometry is not one of the most important areas, but the most important area when it comes to quant. There is nothing which is more important than geometry in the CAT exam when it comes to quant. Still, if you look at most of the books, you will find it is covered in just maybe a couple of chapters and a few questions. It never gets its due credit. And even if you talk about the credit which it deserves, which it never gets, it gets distributed in the important areas and the non-important areas almost equally. And that is what I am trying to focus on today. And hopefully, after watching this video, you will realize what is important, what is not important and how you should devote your time when it comes to geometry. So first of all, what all does geometry consist of? To begin with, you need to understand the basic concepts of lines and angles, parallel lines, alternate angles and stuff like that. You move on to triangles where there is something like similar triangles, congruency, area and stuff like that. Then we have polygons, rectangles, square, pentagon, hexagon is quite common circles an extension of the same idea then we have solids or mensuration basically dealing with 3d figures then we have coordinate geometry dealing with graphs and stuff and we have trigonometry which is essentially dealing with right angle triangles something very very specific now in this particular portion if you think about it what most people find the most difficult is trigonometry well, this term itself scares a lot of people. But if it does scare you, don't worry at all. You don't really need to know trigonometry for CAT. Very basic, very simple stuff that you need to know for trigonometry is, I can just tell you what you need to know. You just need to know a set of three triangles. That is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. What is the ratio in that? 45, 45, 90 triangle. What is the ratio in that? And that's all the trigonometry that you need. Let me tell you the ratios also. 1 is to 1 is to root 2. And for 30, 60, 90, it's 1 is to root 3 is to 2. So if you can remember this particular ratio associated with 30, 60, 90, and 1 is to 1 is to root 2 for 45, 45, 90, that is all the trigonometry that you need to know. Obviously, a little bit of applications of this. But you need not know what the formula for sine 2 theta is or what is cos theta by 2. How am I going to calculate all of that? All that is not required. So please don't waste time on trigonometry if you are targeting CAT. Then what is the important area if trigonometry is not important? Well, the important area is triangles and circles. So these are going to be your most important bits when it comes to geometry preparation. So similar triangles, you are bound to get a question which is essentially an application of similar triangle. You are bound to get maybe some complicated polygon or figure which you can is break it down to some sort of a triangle or some sort of another polygon or maybe a circle is also involved where you need to find out the angles, where you need to find out the area. So you need to know some formulas here, no doubt about that. But knowing complicated formulas or concepts like Euler's line and stuff like that is not required. You will need very basic ideas. The only complicated theorem that you need to learn or something that you do not remember is something called the Apollonius theorem. Read up on it, watch my video to understand Apollonius theorem better, but that's probably the only new theorem that you need to learn. Otherwise, it's based on very, very basic concepts. So, the most important part, I believe, will be triangles and circles and also a little bit of information about polygons. Majority of your geometry questions will be based on this. The second priority should probably be lines and angles. Why? You might not get a question directly on them, but the concepts are going to be used here. 
then the next priority should be solids and mensuration you might get an application where the volumes are compared so once again just knowing the basic formulas would do nothing complicated is required then another part which i have seen a lot of people are scared by is coordinate geometry coordinate geometry comes up with huge set of formulas but once again is it important is it relevant no i will say it is a low priority item uh, i'm not saying it's as low priority as trigonometry trigonometry is essentially non existent beyond these two triangles coordinate geometry you may get a question sometimes yes i'm saying the word may because it's not guaranteed that you will get even a single question on coordinate geometry every time on the other hand triangles polygons circles are virtually guaranteed to cover more than 50% of your geometry part of the exam then there will be questions on solids and mensuration and then there will be questions which will mix up various ideas and that is where the geometry questions become complicated what i suggest to prepare for geometry is very very simple what you should do is one go through all the formulas and the basic concepts which are involved do not try and mug up any complicated formula anything that you cannot understand and remember in less than 2 minutes you should just skip it that is not going to be asked you see a particular formula if you can easily remember it in 2 minutes other than the apollonius theorem that's what you need to learn anything that takes more than 2 minutes you need not mug that up you some of you might be wondering how is it just possible that only 2 minutes are enough well that is enough for the kind of questions which get asked in cat cat does not ask you complicated questions it asks you simple questions or rather difficult questions based on simple concepts this 2 minute rule that i am applying is for the concepts it should not take you more than 2 minutes to understand any formula or any concept in geometry keeping that in mind you can structure your preparation another very important part for geometry what makes it difficult is that it doesn't click in geometry it is required that a particular idea should click that which formula is to be used or maybe in solving a question i need to draw a line parallel to the base or something like that this doesn't click the only way to solve this problem is to solve a lot of problems and i mean a lot of problems you need some reliable resources to solve these type of problems i recommend that the first priority should be going through the previous year questions which are there and if you are not able to solve the previous year questions easily then use this website called indiabix.com it has some very basic very fundamental questions on geometry once you are done with these basic questions then maybe you can go to previous year questions and then maybe you can practice from some other books and stuff if you are still falling short of questions you can always reach out to me and i will send you some questions on geometry but geometry is one area which requires a lot of practice because only then you will probably develop a knack for solving these type of questions if you remember i never said something like this when it was in arithmetic or algebra or anything like that that you need to solve a large number of questions but for geometry it is imperative that you solve a large number of questions so that you get accustomed to new thinking you get accustomed to drawing that line parallel to the base applying some of the things that you have learned geometry is where application becomes the most important so i hope you learn something about geometry and how to prepare for geometry in cat from this video once again just to summarize most important areas triangles polygons circles lines and angles are required for understanding them second most important area solids mensuration coordinate geometry is low priority and trigonometry is almost non existent hope you learn something from this video i look forward to hearing your feedback on my email which is ravihanda@gmail.com and don't forget to visit our website handakafanda.com thank you